Welcome to Butterflies and Bows. My name is Michelle Tretrissa and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. What I'd like to show you today is a technique that I've used to transfer your stamped image onto a candle. It's a fairly simple technique to do, so um, let me get started and I'll show you what to do. The stamp set that I've decided to use today is Watercolour Wings. Um, a little bit different to what I've used on the candles before because it's about three steps to this stamping but I thought we'd give it a go and see how it comes out. So what I've done is I've got chosen three inks. The inks pads that I've decided to use today is Pool Party, Bermuda Bay and Island Indigo. We also need a piece of white tissue paper just the tissue paper that you purchase from um, any news agency or t cheap $2 shop. Now this tissue paper has got a glossy side on one side and a matte side on the other and what we're going to do is we're going to stamp on the glossy side. Now make sure you've got a clean piece of paper underneath your work um, because your ink will actually go through your tissue paper, especially the darker colours, and go through to whatever is underneath. So please don't put anything underneath that you don't want to get ink all over. Now let me just move this out of the road. So I've got my stamp set up here, ready to go. So we're going to start off with our pool party. So with our first image, just tapping down lightly on my stamp pad. I don't need to make that too dark. And I'm just going to stamp down onto my tissue paper and that just gives me a light image on there. Just clean that off on my stamp and scrub and we'll go for our image number two. So the second image we're going to use Bermuda Bay. We're going from our lightest through to our darkest colour. making sure that there's no ink where it shouldn't be and with being a photopolymer we can see straight through so just lining that up and stamping down now with our third stamp in our island indigo Again, stamping straight down. And then our butterfly's body, which I'm also doing in Island Indigo, and his wings. Now just be very careful with the wings. You don't want to press down too lightly on too heavily on the stamp pad, just lightly. And there's our stamped image. Now I do have a little few imperfections on that. But luckily I did do another one earlier. So I'm going to bring that one in. And we'll work on this one. So once we've stamped our image. And I'll just move that completely out of the road. So I don't get ink on things that I don't want. Now we need to trim that down. Now with trimming anything down to um, put onto a candle, we want to make sure our edges are rounded, no sharp edges. Um, if you've got a sharp edge, that can tend to um, get caught and maybe at some stage peel off. So what we're going to do is we're, just, we're going to leave some room around our butterfly and just go around just in a circular or curves just to go around our shape leaving probably a good centimetre or more or centimetre and a half the more you can leave on the outside edge the better you don't have to be too particular and what I like to do is just go around and just anywhere where I feel like the points are too sharp just sort of trim those down a little bit just so then now we sort of got no sharp little points just move that out of the road now what we also need for this is a piece of lunch wrap. Now I have watched a previous video on this and it was suggested to use grease proof um, lunch paper but here in Australia we can't seem to buy that anymore. So what I've just used is just regular lunch wrap 
And I've just got a sheet of that. Now it also has a glossy side and a shiny side. I don't think it matters too much which one you use. So I've got my candle. Now with your candles, don't buy too cheap a quality of a candle because um, I have found that if it's too cheap, it melts too quickly when you're using your heat gun. So I'm going to place my butterfly on my candle where I want it to go. Put my lunch wrap over the top. Now I found this is, was a really good idea to do because what it does is also allows me something on the back to hold my candle. So I'm not actually holding it, holding the actual candle itself. I'm holding the back of the paper there. So grab your heat tool and switch that on and just start working around the candle. Eventually what you will see is that the colour becomes a lot brighter and the wax is melting through your paper. Don't stay in one spot for too long. You want to keep your, your heat moving around because we don't want to melt your candle. We're just melting that surface. Once you're happy with that, switch that off. And I just rub my finger over the top just to make sure that there's any bubbles or anything in there in my tissue paper that I'm going to get them all out. Now this candle I am using has got a few rough surfaces. It's going to go back and just make sure that I've got everything. And just smooth that over with my fingers. It's a very, very simple technique to use and very, very effective. So once I've done that, I'm just going to gently peel off my lunch wrap. Smooth that down. Now there's a few, maybe a few little areas where we've got bubbles. I'll just reheat those areas up again. Just run my finger over it just to make sure those bubbles are out. The wax actually goes through that tissue paper. Now I've got a few little edges up the top up here that are still going around those edges. You want to work fairly quickly because, you, you know, as I said, you don't want your, your candle to melt. And there we are. And there's a beautiful candle that you can now give as a gift. Now those colours do come brighter when you um, do this. So don't use colours, I wouldn't recommend using colours that are too dark or too bright. Um, unless you re really want a very, very bright candle. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this today. Um, happy stamping. Thank you.